how to read a vernier caliper. We're also going to go through the parts of a caliper and the different styles. Okay, you guessed it. Today's videos on calipers. Stay tuned. Our video is going to, first part, go through and explain the difference in some of the calipers. And in the second part, we're going to be measuring. Okay, let's get started. This style here, pretty basic. It reads not in decimal, but in 1 28th of an inch. You need to see this small number whenever you're looking at a vernier type scale to see what number you're reading to. And this guy here will also be able to read to 0 0.05 millimeters is the smallest incremental. This style of vernier, it's almost indestructible. It looks like it's been run over, it's been stuck in a toolbox, it's relatively cheap. What we're gonna to use to measure this guy is something like a bolt or something. More of a mechanics, it goes in a toolbox, it's basically unbreakable. Okay, so what we have here is a general Swiss made dial caliper. It's not the standard dial caliper that we're used to looking at. Obviously it's made out of plastic. It's relatively durable. You can flex it a little bit if you need to. Um, it has most of the characteristics of a standard caliper or vernier, if you want to call it that. The difference is it only reads in 10 thousandths of an inch. So when I open this guy up to here, that would be 100 thou, 200 thou, 300 thou, 400 thou, all the way to like an inch. Also, if you want to read metric, you can read metric relatively easy on here, but it only reads to the whole number of millimeters. So that would be 10 millimeter. This guy here would be 15 millimeter. The inside, which is probably the least likely used, is the 164th scale. All depends on what you need. It does have uh, your depth bar on it as well. And it has all the same functions as a standard vernier. The most common and most universal is going to be your digital. The main reason, because I can set it anywhere, I can open it up, turn it on, set it to any spot that you want and zero it out. So I can go from, let's say I have a part that needs to be uh, one inch plus or minus 10 thou or 20 thou, I can set this to one inch and then measure and then it'll tell me minus five thou plus 10 thou and then I can use it as a go no go type gauge which is extremely helpful depending on what you're machining. Another good thing is it's digital so it goes metric to imperial and it just tells you straight on there there's no counting there's no nothing. The only problem is what you'll see is the batteries die on them. Okay, our next one here is a true vernier. A couple small problems with these. These can be a little bit, these are probably the most difficult to, uh, to measure with. Uh, let's take a look. The bottom is pretty standard, one millimeter, two millimeter, etc., all the way up. Um, your scale here, each one of these scales that line up on the vernier scale is worth 0 0.05 millimeter, standard, same as on all of them. But the difficult part, let's see, we got this guy straight here. The difficult part is when we go to read this guy here. So we know that from zero to, let's say here, that's half inch. And then we go from zero to here, let's say is a quarter inch. Zero to here is going to be one eighth of an inch. And then zero to here is gonna be one sixteenth of an inch. So when our vernier scale lines up, it's saying that each one of these here is worth one twenty eighth of an inch. So therefore, if the four lines up, that's gonna be 1 32nd of an inch. If we go back over to here, if the two lines up, that's gonna be 1 64th of an inch. And then if only one lines up here, that's gonna be 128th of an inch. We'll get into that when we start doing our measuring section. Okay. My favorite of all, this is one that I use in my garage all the time, all the time. Uh, it's very handy, very durable. Obviously it's been dropped and it's used in a garage environment, not in a machining environment. 
very handy. It reads straight up. You still can read metric on it, but you have to go from this edge here. So we go from this edge here, so that'd be 10 millimeter, sorry, that'd be 10 millimeter, 11 millimeter, 12 millimeter. But your scale here reads direct onto here. Something to note, you turn around, you close it, and you say, well, Ray, isn't this supposed to be parallel? The nice thing is I can adjust this. There's a track on the inside. You see the little track here? And there's a ball, uh, it's a racket pinion. So the pinion here turns around and around, which turns our dial. Maybe a couple other gears on the inside. If you look down here in the back, see this little slot here? There's a pin that you can push in there and then you just disengage the rack. So you, you put it to zero where you want zero to be. Disengage the rack, close it, and then pull the pin out. And this guy will face the top again in most circumstances. Be very careful. Do not ever blow air down into here. Like an air gun here, this lens will pop off and you won't get that lens back on. <clears throat> Our next true vernier, I'm running out of space here, I'm going to hit my wall. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff. The millimeters, instead of being 0.5 millim 0 .05 millimeter, this one's 0 0.02 millimeter. We'll get into how to measure that in a moment. Okay, so what we have here is a standard vernier. Zoom in a bit. Okay, let's start with metric. So we know that this is zero, one millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter, five millimeter, 10, 20, 30. So let's see where we're at. So we're gonna go 10, this will be 11, this will be 12, this will be 13. And then this guy is almost 14, but we're not quite there. And we'll say that, let's say the eight lines up. I'll say the eight lines up. So if each one of these, each one of these lines on the bottom here is 0 0.02 millimeter, then this guy here is going to be 0 0.02 millimeter. This guy's going to be 0 0.04 millimeter, 0 0.06 millimeter, 0 0.08 millimeter, 0 0.1 millimeter. If this is 0 0.1 millimeter, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, all the way up to 0 0.8. So therefore, this measurement here would be 13.8 millimeter. Let's take a look at the imperial side now. What we have here is we have zero, we have one inch, we have two inches, and then beyond. So let's take a look at the smaller scale. We have zero, the larger number, larger line sticking out would be 100 thou, 200 thou, that would be 300 thou, 400 thou, five, six, all the way up again. So let's take a look at where we are. Oh, and our vernier scale reached to 25. Our smaller scale here, each one of these lines represents 25 thou. So if we go to zero, one, two, three, 400 thou, so that'd be 400 thou, and there's one, two lines and a bit. So that'd be 450 thou. And then we're gonna agree that 15 lines up. So we're going to say that would be 465 thou. Okay, does anyone know what this is? What kind of caliper would this guy be? This is a brake rotor caliper. Basically, you have your size variance. When you set your your rotor on, on this caliper onto the rotor, it'll measure. And if it's within this size here, and that size falls within the red or the green, it's either a pass or fail. Okay, can you tell me what size this is? Well, let's take a look and see what we have here. So we know that from here to here is 100 thou, 200 thou, 300 thou, 400 thou, 500 thou. Well, we are 500 and thou, and let's say 510 thou, because we're not quite at the, 
at the at 520 thou. So we're going to say 510 thou. We're also going to say that we are at 33 60 fourths. And then if we look over here, we're also going to say that we're at about 13 millimeter. So let's take a look here. We are at 100, 200, 800 thou. And I think I pushed it to the exact amount of 800 thou. So then we're also at 48, 49, 51, 60 fourths. And then here we're at basically 20 millimeter. What size are we? Okay, you got your size, excellent. Okay, so most of you guys says, well, we're at one inch. We're not quite at the one inch, 100 thou. So we're below 100 thou. So we're one inch and 45 thou. And if we take a look at the metric scale, we're about 20, 25, 26, 26 and change millimeter. Let's see, we're at 100, 200, 300, 400 in a bit. So 0 0.4. And then we are 10. 20, 22, so that's 1 and 2, so 22, that's 422 thick. Let's see what we have here. We got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, not quite 600. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98. So 5 of 0 0.598. Let's take a look and see what we have here. We have one inch. We have a quarter inch. We have a half inch. We have nine sixteenths, five eighths. So we have five eighths and then the zero and the eight line up. So therefore it's right on that number here. So this is going to be one and five eighths. Eight. Not so bad. Let's take a look at our bottom scale. We have our 10 all the way up to 40 mil. We're a little beyond 41. So we got 41 millimeter. And then each one of these guys here is worth uh, 0 0.05. So we have 0 0.05, 0 0.01, 0 0.015. 0.02. So therefore, our bottom scale is 41.2 millimeter. Okay, let's take a look and see what we have here. We have 0, 1 eighth, 1 quarter, and these guys are both on, z on 0, lined up here. So therefore, our upper scale is reading quarter of an inch. Let's take a look at our bottom scale. So we have, this would be zero. This would be one, two, three, four, five mil. We have six mil, six millimeter. And then we have each one of these lines represents 0 0.05. So this guy here would be 0 0.05. This guy here would be 0 0.1, 1.5, 0 0.2, 2.5. 0 0.25, 0 0.35, 0 0.35, so 0.35, 6.35 millimeter. Okay, let's take a look and see what we have here. We have, this is one inch, but we don't have that. We're beyond, below the one, below the one inch. So we have basically, this guy here would be, 15 sixteenths okay 15 sixteenths plus one two three four five five one twenty eighths so we need we need to, to make a common denominator so 15 times 8 16 times 8 equals 128 equals 120 plus 
5, 128, run another space, equals 125, 128. And you divide 25 by 28 equals 0.97656. Not bad. Now there's not enough room. Well, let's draw in a different color. Let's say we're going to do light green. Let's do the metric here. Um, we're at 20 millimeter, 21, 22, 23, 24, not 25. So 24 millimeter. And then we have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.9, 0 0.5. So 0 0.95. So 24.95 millimeter. We have 100 thou, 200 thou, and then each one of these individual lines here equals 25 thou. So we have 200, and then we have 25, we have 50, right. sorry about that. Then the zero lines up according to our arrow here, so this size is 2, 5, 0. Let's take a look at the bottom now. We have one millimeter. This guy here represents five millimeters, so we get six millimeter. Six millimeter. Each one of these lines here represents 0 0.2. So this guy here would be 0 0.1 millimeter, 0 0.2 millimeter, 0 0.3 millimeter, 0 0.4 millimeter. So 0 0.4. So that's 6.4 millimeter. We don't know what actual size we are because we can't see the end of the vernier. So let's take a look. We know that this guy here is two inches. So everything before two inches must be one inch. So this is 200 thou, 400 thou, 600 thou. So we are at 1.600 for now. Each one of these lines here represents 25 thou. So 0 0.025. And then according to our little stick here, we're at this number here, which is 16. So 0 0.016, let's add them all up together, that's a 1, carry that over, that's a 4, that's a 6, that's a 1, so that's 1 inch, 641 thou. Let's take a look at the bottom, shall we? What we have here is millimeters, so this would be represent, actually change the color here, let's draw, let's go into green, okay, this represents 30 millimeter, up to here is 40 millimeter. And this guy here would be 41, 41. Then each one of these lines along here equals 0 0.02 millimeter. So that would be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, that would be 0 0.1. So that would be 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 7, 0 0.72, 0 0.74. So 0 0.74. Therefore, 4174 millimeter. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. And if you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Much appreciated.